Time now, 6.56, 64 degrees. Let's check the roads again with our sunrise traffic and Jack Scardino. Jack, how are the roads looking? Okay, Mark, uh, overall, uh, moving pretty well. I wrote slowly here. Don't check that closed captioning, but uh, drawing your attention back to 390 southbound right now, we have a recent accident reported at Lyle Avenue that can't catch a break over there. That's going to exacerbate traffic from Lexington down to the 490 split on 490 right now. Traffic is on time coming from the west side and the east side for that matter. 590 southbound, uh, starting to see the typical morning traffic at the moment, but currently operating on time. Finally on 104 this morning, an accident just a few moments ago on at Lake Avenue. That's 104 and Lake Avenue. Still seeing some residual slowdowns in that area. From the warm 101.3 Traffic Center, I'm Jack Scardino. Back to you. Jack, thank you. In our Sunrise Smart Start this morning, a motorcyclist has died after a crash in Riga. Deputies were called to the area of Buffalo Road and Percy Road around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Investigators say the motorcyclist was traveling east when a car turned in front of him. The driver of the car and a passenger were not injured. Names of those involved have not yet been released. The Sheriff's Office does not believe speed, drugs, or alcohol played a role. The driver of the car was ticketed. Deputies still asking for your help as they investigate two bodies found in a burned out car in Hamlin. This vehicle was discovered on King Street Monday morning. Its owner, who has not yet been identified, has been located and we're told is cooperating with investigators. A proposal to build a solar plant is back on the agenda tonight in Ogden. Yeah. The 90-acre solar farm yes, would be built on farmland at the corner of Union and Whittier Roads. Ogden's town supervisor says the plan will allow farmers to take advantage of land that they can't farm, but nearly 150 residents speaking out against the plan back in July. The town board will have an opportunity to vote tonight. That meeting starts at 7 p.m. in the Ogden Community Center. Looking ahead this morning, the Strong Museum of Play will announce the finalists for induction into the National Toy Hall of Fame today. You can follow News 8 on Twitter and Facebook for your updates. The winner, winners, will be announced on November 8th. All right, Josh Nichols joining us now with a final look at the forecast. Fog and low clouds uh, for many this morning. A little glimmer of light on the horizon as you head out the door. Uh, maybe some hope for a few breaks in the clouds, especially later this afternoon. But dense fog is an issue for some. As I mentioned, the visibility down uh, to uh, less than a half a mile in parts of Wayne County and the Finger Lakes. The low clouds break a bit, allowing for a touch of sun later on. Temperatures today into the low 70s. All right. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning begins right now with extensive coverage on preparations for Hurricane Florence. Have a great day.